so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Hey, it's me, Flippy, and I'm just reading this really cool book. Yeah, it's called Penguins Love Colors by Sarah Aspinall. <laughs> it's about all these penguins that have a different favorite color. Green, blue, violet, red, orange, and yellow. Whoa, I love this book. Whoa, check this page out. Yeah, it looks like a garden. There's so many flowers and so many colors. Whoa, even a rainbow. Hey, rainbow plus garden equals rainbow garden. <laughs> Hi, Flippy. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Sarah Aspinall. <gasps> Sarah Aspinall? Wait a second. <gasps> like the author and the illustrator of this book? That's me. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> would you like to make a rainbow garden of your very own, Flippy? Yeah, I think that would be so much fun. Well, come this way. I've got all of the things you need. Ooh, all right. Here is a box full of lots of fun art surprises for you to have your very own art Wow! Well, thank you so much, and we are very excited to make our very own rainbow garden. Have so much fun, Blippi! All right, see you later! Bye! <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> yeah, I sure am. Let's do this! Whoa! <laughs> all right, let's find all the things that we need inside this box. Whoa! Yay! <laughs> oh, wow! Woo! It looks like we have a white palette. Okay, that right there. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> oh! Wow! An apron? Yeah, a green apron. It actually has a lot of paint on it. I'll set that right over here and we'll put that on before we start using all of the paints. Whoa! Hey, a sponge? <laughs> okay, put the sponge right there. Ooh, a salad spinner? Whoa, I know what this is used for. I'll show you really soon. Okay, and we have some scissors, a little paintbrush, <laughs> and of course, a lot of paint. <laughs> all right, I think that's all. Let's see. <laughs> yep. That's all. Okay, let's put on this apron so then I don't get dirty. All right, here we go. Tie it nice and tight. Perfect, there we go. All right, okay, let's organize a little bit. Whee! <laughs> all righty. Okay, so we have our paint over there, salad spinner right there, big piece of white paper, little teeny paintbrush. <laughs> Put that in there. Oh, can't forget about the book. So then we can reference what we're making. How about that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, remember? We're making this picture. A rainbow garden. All right. So first we need to make a big piece of paper of rainbow colors. So let's take a little bit of red and a paintbrush. We're gonna put it on the sponge, okay? So, let's actually just squirt it right here. Okay, and now that we have a lot of red right there, we need to do all the other colors. But I actually have an idea. I think I should use this palette and fill it up. Might make it a lot easier. Okay, now let's take the paintbrush. All right, and let's put some orange right here. Yeah, so now we have red and then orange. Need to wash off our brush. <laughs> Perfect. And we need some yellow right here. Wow, <laughs> yellow is so pretty. It's like the color of the sun, okay. Lots of yellow right there. Now we need some green. Okay, whoa, 
green. Perfect. After green, we need some blue. Yeah, perfect. Good amount of blue right there. Do you see this? We're almost done. And now, we need some violet or purple. They're very similar in looks. Wow. There we go. How does that look? Haha, <laughs> yeah, like a rainbow. All right, now for the fun part. Push it down right here. Yeah! Whoa! Look at that! Wow! Yeah! And you do that same thing many times in a row, all the way down. So I'll do that now. Whoa! That is so beautiful! Check it out! Whoa! Okay. I'm actually gonna set this over to the side so it can dry. It's a little wet still. Perfect. Okay, now what we need to do is take this salad spinner. Yeah, you normally put salad, kale, romaine, lettuce inside here, and you spin it around. <laughs> and it flings all the water off of it. But today, what we're gonna do is we have a white piece of paper right there, and we get to put some colors in here and then spin it and then it pushes all the paint off to the edges. Okay, ready? We'll put some yellow. Yeah, that looks really good. And then how about we put some orange. I love orange. Yeah, just like that. Wow, yellow and orange. <laughs> And how about a few drops of red? Yeah, how about that? Just a couple. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, now let's put the top on. It's all sealed. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. I just spun it so fast. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. Whoa! Wow! That is amazing! We just made that by spinning this around really quick. Okay, it's pretty wet, so let me put it off to the side so then it can dry. Okay, now that I put that off to the side to dry, the original rainbow is probably ready to use. So, let me get it. Yep. It's nice and dry. <laughs> all right. So now what we need to do, let me organize this paint. I don't want it to get all over me now that we're all done painting. So, what we're actually going to do is take this and make a little squiggly line while we cut. Ready? Yeah like this. Oh, kind of like a worm. Worms squiggle around. <laughs> or a caterpillar. Or a snake. You see this? Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> okay. Now what I need is a white piece of paper. I have one right on the ground over here. And then, I put it on the top. Do you see that? Yeah, it's like a rainbow, just like in Sarah's picture. So, let me get some glue right over here. All right, now that I have this glue, I can glue it down. All right. <laughs> have you ever used a glue stick before? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's not all liquidy like the normal type of glue. This is a glue stick. You just kind of like color it on, but it's no color, you know, like as if you're coloring. Yeah, there's no color to it. It's clear. Perfect. Wow. This looks amazing. You and I are doing a really good job. All right. Next step is to take this, remember, the rainbow, and cut out some stems 
and grass from the other side. I'm gonna set this down right over here, so then I can start cutting. Okay, let's cut a nice long stem. Yeah, just like that. It's like a really thin, long rectangle. Perfect. Let me do another one. Yeah, I'll start with two. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. There we go. We have two long rectangles. Yeah. One, two. And these are going to be the flower stems. Okay. Put them right under there. Perfect. Now we need some blades of grass. So what we're going to do is some triangles. Just like that. Some nice tall blades of grass. <laughs> As if you might need to mow your lawn. <laughs> Yeah, and these blades of grass I'm cutting, yeah, are triangles, just like I said. <laughs> Whoa, how does that look? Do you like that blade of grass? <laughs> I sure do. All right, let's put those right here. I'm gonna set this aside and grab my piece of art that had the rainbow on the top, and then, here we go, I'm gonna be able to put these on the bottom. And I'll actually cut some more. But let me flip this around and take my glue stick again. <laughs> Whoa. One right in the center. How about one to the side a little bit, huh? Yeah, there we go. I love doing art. Yeah, how does that look? <laughs> yeah, and we'll do the blades of grass too. It's so colorful. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> here we go. All right, okay. <laughs> all right, looks like I need to cut some more and then glue it all down. So let me grab the piece of paper and I'll cut a bunch, all right? <laughs> Whoa, check it out. All right, I did all the blades of grass and all of the flower stems. <laughs> now we need to do the tops of the flowers. So, remember earlier we did the salad spinners? Yeah! Look at all these other ones that I have. <laughs> okay, so let's cut them up so then we can use them for the flower petals. Let's do a half circle. Yeah, like that. How about that? And then we can also do, yeah, something really big because this one is gonna be a very big flower. Yeah, perfect. How's that look? All right, and then we need some leaves on this one. So let's go like this. Yeah. And, perfect. Yeah, just like that. And then we can start gluing them down and making our flowers. So, let's go like this. How does this look? Yeah, that's a beautiful flower. I love the smell of flowers. <laughs> and then, this one will be another flower. Yeah, and a stem. Okay, let's do a, actually, not a stem. A leaf! We already have the stems right there. So a leaf right there, right in the center. Okay, I'm gonna cut some more and continue to glue them down. <laughs> Here I go. All right, last but not least, <laughs> let's put the center of the flower. Yeah, that's like where all the pollen is. <laughs> all right, how does that look? Wow. We made our very own rainbow garden. Wow, what a beautiful picture. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thank you so much for learning about all the colors of the rainbow today with me and about flowers. And also that amazing book about penguins by Sarah. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? 
Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. I'm gonna go frame this and put this in my treehouse. <laughs> All right. See you later. <laughs>